Hello friends, good to see you again through this video. Today I wanted to share about this topic. God knows exactly what will happen in the future. So don't be anxious about tomorrow. That's what I wanted to share today. Uh, because we need to understand the sovereign nature of our Lord, right? For example, in our life, we have so many surprises. Sometimes when things happen uh, that we didn't anticipate, we are surprised and sometimes we are dejected. Uh, sometimes we worry why this happened at this point of time. Uh, sometimes we are happy, sometimes we are sad. So there are different elements of surprise in our life. But to our Lord, there is no surprise. The reason is he holds our future and he already sees our future, right? He knows how our life is going to end, when it is going to end and what he's going to accomplish in our life. So he knows everything and because he knows the future, there is no surprise for him that, you know, that I have done this or I, I am not doing this or something has happened in my life like that. And the Psalm says, our times are in his hands, which means the Lord knows how long we are going to live in this world, right? And what we are going to do and how he is going to use our life. So when we think about this concept, when we think about this, the sovereign nature of our Lord, where he holds our future and where he knows what exactly is going to happen, that itself will has, has to give a confidence for us that we don't need to be anxious about tomorrow. Right. That's what I wanted to stress today. And uh, for, for, for me to just explain it further, I wanted to share a passage from the Bible today. Uh, it starts in the Gospel of Mark, chapter 11, verses from 1 to 7. So these seven verses are the, are the, as the passage that we are going to see today, just to understand how God you know knows everything you know even the future even how he predicts uh, to the detailed way in a in a detailed way in a minute way what exactly is going to happen is what we are going to see today uh, so let me read the verse 1 mark chapter 11 verse 1 now when they drew near to jerusalem jesus and his disciples to bethany at the mount of olives jesus sent two of two of his disciples and said to them, go into the village in front of you and immediately as you enter it, you will find a cold tide on which no one has ever sat. Untie it and bring it. When you do, uh, you know, if anyone says to you, why are you doing this? Say the Lord has need of it and will send it back here immediately. So if you read these three sentences, right, Jesus is now giving a direction to his disciples so he is giving them uh, a, an action item uh, something to be done and uh, so he is asking them to go exactly to which place and to bring the uh, the cold right like cold and also what it, what he says if anybody asks when you untie it if anybody asks you have to say the lord need it and then they will send it back immediately right so jesus not only gave an order or not only gave an action to be completed, but he also said during the course of action, you may encounter these kind of questions or there may be some uh, uh, questions or something that may come against you. But this is what you have to replay and then you will uh, bring the cold here, right? Jesus made it very clearly. He is giving a complete picture like a plan of what they have to do. And then as they went right this is the most important thing you know mark chapter 4 march chapter 11 verse 4 it says and they went away so here we need to understand when god gives us a commandment or when god gives us something to do when there is an action item on us it is very important that we obey right it is not for us to reason out or think you know what we are going to do why god is asking us to do this no they immediately went away and they exactly found a coal tied at a door outside in the street and they untied it. And when they untied it, some of those who were standing there said to them, what are you doing? Why are you untying the coal? And then they told them what Jesus had said and they let them go. So again, here we see whatever the Lord predicted to happen, it exactly happened the same way. But the two important things that we note here is, when the disciples obeyed the Lord and went to do that, in the midst of untying the cold, when they encountered questions from the people around them, they replied the same way what Jesus has taught, right? So we need to understand, my dear friends, when we obey the Lord, 
to fulfill the will of god definitely there will be questions Uh, from uh, from our surrounding people may ask us why are you doing this or what is the benefit of doing this or they may say it is not uh, it doesn't look reasonable to for you to do this likewise there may be so many questions and uh, comments that may come to our ears but we need to say what exactly the lord said which means when lord has confirmed you with a calling when the lord has confirmed you uh, with his will by showing some scriptures and verses right you need to quote those scriptures and you need to tell them this is the basis on which i'm doing this because the lord made it very clear to me that this is what i'm supposed to do he spoke to me through this verse and that is why i'm doing this likewise when we tell to the people that is when you know the lord will you know convince them also and uh, we don't need to worry about you know what they are going to think right and what happened after those people Uh, heard these disciples say as per the lord said then they let them go and they brought back the colt and then jesus rode on it right so today we need to think about these three things one is that that the lord holds the future the lord knows exactly what is going to happen because if you look at that incident he knew exactly what to be done where to go and how they will they need to respond right he is telling everything to the disciples and he is sending them well equipped and prepared and when they went there when they obeyed the lord and went there obviously there they encountered the same way what the lord said but when they responded in the same way how jesus taught them they got the colt and they came back so this is the basic principle that we have to learn in our life also today we need to have the confidence that the lord is in control of our future right matthew chapter 6 verse 34 he said do not be anxious about tomorrow because he said he seek ye first the kingdom of god and all his and, and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you so we have a heavenly father who knows all our needs even before we ask him and he holds our future and that is why we don't need to worry we don't need to be anxious what is going to happen tomorrow all we need to do is we just need to obey him we need to obey his direction when god shows shows a way for us when god shows a direction for us to move forward like the disciples went we have to go and we need to have the word of god as uh, the basis for doing everything in our life when god speaks to us he speaks through his word so we need to carry the god, word of god as a basis for every action in our life and that is when we are going to see the fulfillment of god's plan in our life you know when it is very important that we need to cooperate with god's uh, call we need to cooperate with god's will in order to see its fulfillment because god is not going to force us he is he has given us a free choice right so he is still waiting for you and me to take up the choice so he he always wants the best for us but at the same time he wants us to take that step of faith or take that step to cooperate with him so that he can fulfill his plan in our life so today my dear friends do not be anxious about tomorrow because the lord holds our future we now to obey him we have to trust him and more importantly we have to live a life based on god's word when we have these three things in our life right when we know these three things definitely we don't need to be worried about tomorrow we don't need to be anxious about tomorrow the lord will definitely fulfill his plans for our life may the lord bless this word you all have a blessed and a happy day god bless you